Hi, we are going to determine the equilibrium constant, K, uh, when we're given an equation and told the uh, values of our concentrations at equilibrium. So this is a really, really basic, simple example. Um, this is not an ice table, okay? So the key on this is that we're at equilibrium and we're given concentrations. So if we're at equilibrium, we can plug into our equilibrium expression. So first thing we're going to do is write the equilibrium expression. Remember, that's just products over reactants. So K equals, we're going to have the products. Notice that this ethyl acetate is what that's called. It's aqueous, so I put that in brackets. CH3, CO2, C2H5. It's understood to be a one coefficient, so that's understood to be a one exponent. I'll leave it blank, we'll know it's one. Divided by the reactants. Now, notice I went right away to the reactants because the water is a liquid. Remember, we don't do any, um, any species that are liquid or solid in the equilibrium expression, only gases and um, aqueous. Only gases and aqueous are in the equilibrium expression. So I have everything I need from the products. That was the only aqueous. It was our um, ethyl acetate divided by reactants. This is ethanol, so C2H5. OH, that's a one exponent, so that will be an understood, excuse me, one coefficient, so that's an understood one exponent, times, remember this is not adding, it's multiplying. So I put the brackets next to each other, times, this is also aqueous, and this is acetic acid, C, um, H3CO2H, okay? So from here, all we have to do is plug in the values at equilibrium, because this is the value, um, the, our equilibrium expression at, um, at equilibrium. Sorry, I know I've said that like five times, but I really wanna drive that home because honestly, most questions, they're not going to give you the values at equilibrium. So be careful on that. That's when you have to use the ice table. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in. We're going to have 0 0.062 molar divided by 0 0.748 times 0.748 and when we do that math, let's see what our K value is. K is going to be 0 0.11, 0 0.11. Okay, what does that tell us? Now remember, equilibrium, that is the very, very special point at which the rate of reactants is the same for the rate of the products going in the reverse re reaction. So the forward reaction, reverse reaction are the same rate. Now we're in the, they are the same rate, you have the same rate of change back and forth between forward and reverse um, rates. The concentrations are constant. Now when those concentrations are constant, guess what? There are more reactants in the denominator than products in the numerator. Notice that value is less than one, K less than one. So that is going to be reactant favored. There are more reactants than there are products at equilibrium. When we hit that beautiful rate, there's more reactants than products, so it is reactant favored. Okay, there you have it. Um, lots of ice table examples. Look at those if you need ice tables. Okay, thank you. And they will be in the playlist under equilibrium. Have a nice day.